Like I'll just if yeah. maybe the obvious one was there a need for a, a reset at yeah. this point? Yeah, I think what what the idea here is that Cal can go down to the American League and 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 play in games and 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 get that structure that we believe in and uh, and come back up and help us. And that was. Uh, I mean that's as simple as it gets. That, that was the reason behind the decision in that, and and now we're past that, uh, you know, the deadline of the waivers here, and, and we can go in and actually can go practice there, and he can get himself into some games and get playing. Is there a any form of a timetable there? Not, not really, not really. I couldn't sit here and say you know week two weeks, weeks. none of that. He, he's just going to go down. Um, you know, I trust in Billy Ranford and our, our goalie coaches to. Uh, Continue to work with them, but I think the biggest thing from our point was he's got to get in a, a, a games continuously here to get his game uh, back to the level that that he wants and that we want. Rob, was it a move that you went to Billy and talked about, or did uh, we talk to you about? Or? We've talked, in, you know, internally here for for a few weeks uh, about different different things and, and different strategies that we could come up with. But uh, yeah, everyone's been involved in that. Did you address the team yesterday? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I just felt the need to do not specifically on Cal, but specifically on that we want to get better in a lot of areas. And uh, you get to the 20, when are we, 25, something like that game mark. And uh, it just kind of coincided all that together yesterday. Can you give us any sort of highlights about what? No, just, just to, you know, there's, there's some areas we need to improve on. There's some areas we've made progress for sure. Um, and the biggest thing is consistency. And I don't think I'm the only one saying it. The players have said it, Todd said it. So. Uh, you know, sometimes you, you get in a room together with everybody, coaches, myself, and that, that theme um, is, is common amongst our group. So, How much is on the defense, too? Uh, overall defense? Yeah. yeah for sure. And, and, you know, we got to balance um, actual goals against, expected goals against, and understand our systems. There's a big discrepancy in those two right now, so we gotta, we got to find the underlining issues on that. Are you, well, but are you seeing the, the buy-in necessary yeah. to attack those challenges? Yeah, 100%. Rob, I know uh, obviously a lot of this with Cal is getting him right, but how much is also a, a message just to the entire? Group? Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think that's a. We we didn't do it for a message. We did it to where we feel we can help Cal. We get him in a situation where we can get him playing games. We we believe he's a good goalie, and we believe he's going to come back in here and help us. With the goaltender specifically, is it almost impossible to work through a game in the NHL because? You I think so. I think so. I think as a defenseman or forward, if you have a tough game or you're struggling, you can go out and you can play safe. You can play limited minutes. As far as a defenseman, you can put it off the boards, make it real safe. It's difficult in goalie situation. And we can only carry two. We can carry six, seven, eight D. We can carry 14 forwards if we want. We don't have a lot of options on the back end to get goalies into games. And, that, and that's why this, this came about. Along with the inconsistency, and what are some of the other things that have troubled you just overall team-wise and what you've seen? Uh, penalty kill needs to be better. How did the conversation with Cal go? What were some of the, was, the key points? Uh, that, just that whole thing. Like, listen, we, we believe you're going to be here with us, helping us going forward, but we need to find a way to get, get you back playing the way you're capable of and the way we feel you're capable of. Do you think it's a... Confidence issue with Cal or a technique uh, I, issue? What, what I, exactly is going uh, on? I, I don't know. You know, there's, I mean, I'm sure all that kind of weighs into it. And that's why I said I put a lot of faith in, in Billy Ranford and his staff and his relationships um, with, with Cal and with goalies in the past to, uh, to do that. Frank Clark has been sitting on nine yep. games. Yeah. Get your thoughts on how he looks in the AHL and maybe his yep. playing going forward? Yeah, no, well, I think the idea in the American League is to get some games there for him. Obviously, with the World Juniors coming up, uh, we have a decision to make here within the next few days. We've had calls, multiple calls with Hockey Canada discussing that, and Brant included. And, uh, you know, uh, we travel, I think, Monday back to Ottawa and Toronto in that area when uh, Hockey Canada, the, the, the um, Camp would start up, so um, we'll, we'll have to look at those those things there for next week. Also, Quinn Michael's been down there for three weeks. How, how's he yeah. been in your eyes? Uh, he's been good. I, uh, you know, a few games live um, the past week and everything. I, I think on the offensive side of things, um, you, you, you see a little bit of that production and, and uh, you know handling the more minutes and everything. And, and it, it is a spot where he can work on, on a lot of aspects of his game in, in multiple minutes down there. 
Today's NHL, having a mobile defense is absolutely <coughs> essential. Yeah. Do you think your defense is too offense-oriented at this point? Too, no. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say we're too off. And I, I, there is a balance there. Um, I think we would like a little more offense out of our defense at times. I'm, I'm not sure we're too offensive minded. Do um, they take too many chances? Are they making the reads that you want them to, to make? Uh, we. I think part of our inconsistency is mistakes at tough times, uh, but not not just defense. Uh, overall team play. I think last year our team structure defensively was was very good by the end of the year and. Um, I, I think that we're still capable of getting that level. How, how much have you looked at, uh, at a trade as just a, a, a nah. one of solutions? Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're just going to trade just to just to do something. You know, we're 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 constantly looking at different uh, solutions to try to to you know go back to the consistency level. We got we got to find that. If the goaltending, uh, the save percentage, which I recognize is also a team yep. statistic, if that doesn't improve, would you consider going the trade route to I, I, a goaltender? I don't know. I don't know. Rob, there be, obviously you're limited by roster spots, but you have a little bit of freedom, and some of the younger D have been called up at times. But yep. any consideration to getting Jordan Spence, Toby Bjornfoot, Lavar, right. any of those guys some more games sort of going forward here? Yeah, and, and, and I think, uh, you know, you know Mavari got in there a game or two. Um, uh, Jordan was up for a short period of time there uh, the last couple days and back down and uh, and now Toby's back in that mix so we'll, we'll see how the lineups shake out but the, those guys have been doing a real good job in, in Ontario and part of the reason we we move them around a little bit is we don't want any of them sitting an extended period of time so you could bring one up as a 7th D for you know, two or three weeks but I'm not sure it does the right thing when we have the ability to put them down and play games. Jonathan Quick has such a resume and history yep. officers of this yep. club. Does, does that bring you comfort that you, you can still lean on him yeah. and, and yeah. ride him if, if yeah. need be? Yeah, for sure. Can you give an overview of just some of the transactions with Bjornfoot, Tagimo, and Kapari? Yeah, we sent Kapari down and recalled uh, Bjornfoot and Sammy. You know, just the rationale for those moves? Uh, I, you know, Todd, will, Todd takes care of that lineup, but it gives Todd some options there. Who was more frustrated after the game the other night, you or Todd? <laughs> Todd, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're a fan. It's probably pretty fun to watch, but I'm not sure where we're sitting. But, uh, no, it was – I'm not sure that game is going to have any basis with uh, any – that's a one-off. You're not going to hopefully see that too often. Just curious what you saw just from you know, the team that swept, you know, the four-game homestand and yeah. then immediately ran into the defensive challenges in Calgary. What – is there anything you can put your finger on why the drop off so starkly? Uh, not, not really. I don't think there's one specific thing. There's a lot of items our, our coaching staff will address and have addressed, and uh, you know, within practice through the games here. Jim Hiller on the power play. Just, yeah. Uh, your evaluation at this point yeah. in the year. Yeah. So you're starting to see some of the different strategies he's put in into place. Uh, some, sometimes when you bring somebody from the outside and bring it, it's just a a different look um, where, where I see a little differences, different positions for players. And, and, and you'll see the players change actually during the power play in that. And, but, but you're also adding, uh, you know, Fiala into the mix on one of them and, and Velarde more consistent on a power play than we might have had in the past. Uh, I think he's just currently skating on his own. I have follow you saw today out of uh, red and, and, and full practice. Uh, tomorrow's a mandatory day off PA uh, union wise. So he, he's not going to get too many practices this week, but it's real encouraging to see he's getting close. Rob, I yeah. don't want this to, yeah. to be an excuse question, yeah. but how much the, the schedule has been yeah. really a, a burden? Yeah. Uh, well, there, there's things we're looking at. In, in, yeah, for sure we played a lot of games. Uh, practice time uh, has been limited in between there. We haven't played as many back-to-backs uh, -back in right. situations that we would have last year, so that adds another game um, where you may have had a, a practice day instead of playing the two games. But everybody's dealing with scheduling. Uh, we have maybe three more games or four more games than, than the least played in the league. So not a big discrepancy. We started Tuesday instead of Thursday, which increased the one more game than other teams. So, <coughs> excuse me. How was Cal um, in your discussion? Well, like the same, I just wanted to let him know that we support what he's doing and, and, and we believe that he's going to be a good goalie for us.
Rob, not an evaluation of the job that Marco's doing down there in Ontario, yeah. but just an evaluation of the communication <coughs> that's been going on between the two of you guys. Good. I mean, from, a, from, from my perspective at least, I've seen a change in Marco from rookie camp, you know, all the way to yeah. now. He just seems to really be getting more comfortable in in his communication style. Yeah, and part of that decision was, uh, you know, obviously Marco wants to be a head coach at the, the highest level he can get to, um, but you have to start being a head coach. And yeah, you see that, but I, what I like about the situation right now is the relationship between him and Todd, um, how much they meet during the week and everything, and I think it's because they had that relationship on the same staff a year ago. Yeah. 